welcome so this is the session 2 of the paper 2010 may june paper 52 uh, question number 2 so in the last part we have finished up to filling the tables hope you remember this if you you do not remember you have to go to part 1 first and when you fill, uh, fill the tables we used a 2 sf for the uh, uncertainties as we have uh, clarified in that session also the rule is 1 or 2 sf but here we have used two because uh, it will give us a more precision in uh, more precision or more variety as well in the uh, error bars and all the data related to the error bars for example uncertainty in uh, slope gradient uncertainty in the intercept and also other values that is that uh, they tell us to find later but if you feel that you have to use one sf only or you want to use one sf only this uh, this portion of the table somewhat looks like this so in case of uh, this thing uh, uh, the first one it will be 0 0.04 you can use only one sf so you have to round off here this 80 will, will make it uh, 4 and in the second you'll have 0 0.04 once again because it is 36 in the third you will have 0 0.03 so this 3 is uh, less than 5 that's why it uh, comes back to 3 and this will be 0 0.03 once again the fifth one will be 0 0.003 now in the sixth one we have 0 0.025 so now you have to either go to 2 or 3 for that let me first evaluate the error once again this error comes to be it comes to be 0 0.0252 so now 52 is above 50 that's why this thing should go up to 0 0.03 0 0.03 because 52 is more than the half that's why it is 3 so now we have a, a error of 0 0.04 two errors of 0 0.04 and four errors of 0 0.03 so four of them looking same now what about the quantity before so this will be now the error starts from here and and uh, uh, and also ends here it starts from the second digit after decimal and also ends at the second digit at the decimal so the first quantity must end at the second uh, second place after decimal since it starts from the first place it should end at sorry since it starts from the second place it should end at the second place so it should be 3.57 then it is a 3.20 then it is a 2.79 then it is 2.40 it is a 1.99 and then 1.59 so that shows that whatever be the number of sf significant figures whatever be the number of significant figures this quantity will end at the same place after decimal so it's not that if you increase this you increase this no definitely not so wherever you end it it will end right there so that's a one or two sf does not matter the number of digits here might matter but the number of digits here here does not change so this is what we have to remember so if you are using uh, one sf in the uncertainties the table should look like this if you are using two sf in the uh, uncertainties it should look like this and no other choices will be correct if you go by rules no other choices will be correct so if uh, they allow some other sf it's okay but going by the rules this is the answer